We were started in 1953 as, uh, as a response to the polio epidemic and uh, children with cerebral palsy. So we started as a pediatric clinic. There were so many children and, and, uh, and at that time that weren't getting the therapy care that they needed. So we started with seven patients in 1953 and then obviously we've grown um, from that to, to where we are today. I worked here uh, in college as one of the pediatric techs. So when I started noticing those things, I immediately said, this is where we're gonna go. I trust them, I, I know them here, I know their hearts here. One of the things that's helped too, I feel, is he's had the same therapist for so long. Like the longevity of people that work here, like they come and they stay a long time. So Callan was able to feel comfortable, you know, with the therapist he sees. We are funded and we are able to take care of people regardless of their ability to pay because of our donors. And uh, nights like we're gonna have on January 21st allow us just to say yes to every single patient that walks through the door. I mean, there's so many people that wouldn't be able to be seen. I mean, they wouldn't get the help if it wasn't for this place. They respect us as parents and what we have to say and what we're seeing and, and experiencing at home. To know that we get to come in and we get to take the financial stress of health care out of the equation and just let those families and those kids come to an organization where they're just going to get great care. We couldn't thank them enough, that's for sure. I can't imagine what our life or the boys' lives would have looked like at this point without them being a part of our lives. Bye. Bye. All right, let's go.